Hello there, she is. Welcome back to a new video where I'll be taming the Manta. So the Manta is quite a simple tame, easy trap, but you have to do a few steps to do it, which isn't too bad, but let's get into it. Nice. So for the trap, you'll need four walls, stone foundation, and a ceiling. So for the first part of the tame, you'll need angler gel, which can be acquired by chopping up the corpse of an anglerfish. This map shows all the locations of the anglerfish on the island. Just a quick interjection, if you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. Nice. I've seen one anglerfish will be plenty enough to tame a manta. Now that we have the taming food, all we have to do is find the mantas. The mantas can be found pretty much anywhere on the island, but here's a picture just in case you don't know where the water is. Nice. For the trap, you want to put the stone foundation down. Then you want to open up your walls and then change the walls to a doorway. This is allow you to shoot in and maybe put doors on it to try and stop them attacking you and try and gain entry from one side. So you put the three walls down and then you put the ceiling on top. Before trying to tame this boy, make sure you've got your angler gel on your last key in the hotbar. But the most annoying thing about finding one of the mantas out in the ocean, they're never alone and as soon as you hit one, your aggro loads. And if there's two separate groups, if the one group gets too close, they'll all come on you. So what you want to do is attack them. Try and bait them out as far as you can. If you've got a tame, you can kill them. If not, bait them to the land. They will follow you all the way up and then just try and either shotgun them, crossbow them, whatever you need to do to kill them. Once that's done, get the one you want by himself. Swim through the hole, bait him inside. And then have the last wall and trap him in. So now you have him trapped. It's an easy tame. It's just passive. Just go up to him, feed him the gel. So if new mantas come into the area while you're taming this boy, they'll treat as if you're coming next to them and they will attack you repeatedly depending on how many mantas come in. So you're going to be wanting to be kitted out with either a crossbow or a shotgun. Try and bait them to land if you can. Or if you've got tames, just kill them with tames because as soon as they come near you while you're taming this boy, they will attack you repeatedly because this boy's technically constantly aggroed, which means all of his mates will come in to try and attack you. Once this boy's trapped though, it's really easy, you just gotta wait around, try not to get hit too many times because they can break scuba gear, tank and flippers in free hits, so you just gotta be careful of that. If you anger yourself at the right angle, you can make him attack you, which will make him use up his food, which will obviously lessen the time it will take for the feed, the initial feed. They can be quite derpy and hit you through the stone sometimes, I found that out while trying to tame this boy, he wasn't even looking at me, he wasn't even near me and he somehow hit me through the wall. So you just gotta be careful, but once you get the first feed off, it goes really fast and it's really simple. One piece of advice I would give is bring a wooden chair with you just in case you run out of stam. This boy's quite close to the land so it's quite easy to run out. But if you're deeper in the ocean or wherever you decide to tame this boy, it's just worth having the chair there so you can sit down, regain all your stam without worrying about drowning or getting attacked by a megalodon that's coming out of nowhere. Nice. Okay, so now this boy's tamed. The best thing about mantas is just their speed. You could easily collect all of the underwater crates for these boys because they're just so damn fast. A few things to note with these boys. They've got really low health and there's no point leveling up because it goes up by such a tiny amount. What you're going to want to do is either level up the movement speed. So if obviously for crate ones you go faster and it's just better, more efficient or level up the melee. They may not be good in a straight up fight but as you can see here, they are so good at attacking and running away. It is honestly so good. Their base damage stats are similar to Megalodon's, so they do hit hard, but obviously if you get trapped or body blocked or whatever, you will die. But due to their speed, you won't really need to just take anyone on a head-on fight. You just attack and run away and, and yeah, no. So these boys can jump out of water and they can even glide on the land for a little bit. They do start to take damage, but as soon as you jump off, whether they're mid-air or slightly on the land, they will insta-die. So just make sure you stay riding them, otherwise, yeah, death, death, death. Thanks for watching my video and see you in the next one. Nice.